nothing special happened in the wild card round in 1999, did it, Kevin? No, not at all. <laughs> Just a regular game. <laughs> it's a regular game. The game is on the line. He got it. Steve Christie from 41 yards. Do the Titans have a miracle left in them? He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's, he's got something. 30, 50, he's got 40, it. 40, he's got it. 20, 10. He's got it. In goes. Touchdown, Titans. It's a miracle. But let's wind it back. It's the peak of Flutie and Rob Johnson mania. I'd rather have a little Flutie than a big Johnson. I don't know if you've heard that. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to use it. You use it. <laughs> so Rob Johnson finds Peerless Price in the last two minutes without a shoe on, which sets yeah. up Steve Christie for a field goal. And they take the lead 16-15, which leaves 16 seconds on the clock. You're on the sideline. Jeff Fisher's on the sideline. Steve McNair's on the sideline. It's over. The game is over. It was kind of deflating because we had, I felt like anyway, we, had, we were in control of that whole game up until that probably five, six minute mark where they kind of took the momentum and then eventually took the lead. Until Rob yeah, Johnson you, you, lost his shoe. Tennessee had the ball yeah. in the fourth quarter for 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I mean, I mean, seriously, it was just like what just happened. And the Tennessee Titans are just crushed. 16 seconds left. They still have a prayer, but not much more. But Allen and um, Jeff are calling for my name and I was a little confused. I'm like, wait a minute, they just took the lead. I know we felt like we were dominating, but they just took the lead because the only only special teams I was a part of was the hands team. So I'm like, why are we calling hands team? Well, then they, they started explaining to me, you know, Derek Mason's out, he can't return and Anthony Dorsett is cramping, he can't run. So we need you to go in on extra return, man. I'm like, oh snap, like, okay. Had you ever done it before? Had you ever run a kickback? No, no. Never? Never. Jeff Fisher said he went up to you and said, you're in, you know what you're doing. And you were like, I wasn't paying attention during those practices. <laughs> that was all story, man. I, I, I mean, yes and no. <laughs> so when he called me, I was like, yeah, I, I yeah, I, I, yeah. To his point, it wasn't assuring my response. Was <laughs> <laughs> and so when he did it, they were kind of telling me, running through, hey, I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to to Ike. You're getting pitch relationship. He's going to give it a can. If he can, he's going to pitch to you. You get what you can get out of bounds. Well, and I, I've never asked Isaac, and I just talked to him recently, maybe I need to ask him this. I never asked him why when the ball was blue that he came up to field it instead of staying in the lateral spot that yeah. he was supposed to. I don't think anybody's ever asked him. Did just he just think, okay, I'm, like, this play's dead. We expect him to squib it. I don't it. know. I'm going to run it and back. He's like, I'm going to catch it, get what I can, and then we'll run offense. And it goes to me. And, and, you know, coaches always tell you sometimes, yeah, we got the design of a play. But sometimes players have to be players, instincts kick in. And for this is the exact example of that. That was not the design of the play, and it ended up working out. Dyson and Bird are deep. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck, that looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. Dyson down the sideline. Dyson's going to go all the way. Lorenzo Neal literally went to Frank Wycheck and said, hey, I'm going to catch this ball, come get it from me, and I'll block for you. Like, who does that? Like, he already knew. <laughs> the fullback Lorenzo yeah. Neal, despite the fact Frank Wycheck has the hands. Yes. He's and like, he's, I'll get it. Don't worry. Kick it to me. I'm going to get it. Come get it from me. And, I'm, and I know a lot of people, including Ed, he's probably going to tell you he grabbed his helmet and started walking to the locker room because Lorenzo Neal was not known for his hands, y'all. Like, <laughs> he was known for his blocking and not his hands. And he caught the ball. Gave it to Frank Wycheck, laterals to me, man. My job literally was the easiest part. I just had to run. We were chatting to Jacoby Jones last week about his return in the Super Bowl, and he's just said, yeah. "Whoop, Red Sea just parted. It didn't part as much as it did for you. You could have driven a truck to the end zone." I'm telling you, there was only a brief moment of thought, and it was, "When do I get out of bounds?" But when I saw Doug Christie go down, he was the only guy in, in any kind of white uniform that had any chance. Woo, I'm about to score. And, and pandemonium when you cross that That's end it. zone. Madness. That's it. There, no flags on the play. It is a touchdown, but we yeah. need to look yeah. at that replay. Well, I don't, all that's missing is the band. That's right. That's the only thing missing. But I'm you know, and I ran across the field to the other side as a way of kind of sticking it to the Bills, if you will, the Bills players, because... Prior to the kickoff, 
you know, you look over there and they're celebrating, mocking our fans, dancing and carrying on. It was kind of that, here you go. You didn't win this one. I think uh, yeah. I'd ask you, and I promised some of my friends who are Bills fans, I would ask you because you are the closest. Kevin Dyson, was it a forward pass? No, um, no. And if they read the rule book, most people that have that argument don't read the rule book. And if you read the rule book, you talk about, about the flight of the football. The flight of the football is essentially straight or slightly back. And even still, that ball was slightly back if you look at the flight of the ball. Stands, it was a lateral. Wow. 